Hey, so this video is talking about your, your pitch sheet template that uh, you've hopefully been able to download and look at. So essentially this document, um, instead of doing a formal pitch, which I tend to do sometimes, but uh, we're kind of running short on time, so I want you to uh, just work out a pitch that you're putting some of these thoughts uh, into this document. So first of all, put your name on this director's name. You are the director. Um, the on-camera talent or crew members, anyone that you might be working with. Now, by on-camera talent, um, I don't know if you're going to have a spokesperson, if you're going to be conducting interviews, who those people might be with. They don't necessarily need to be totally be nailed down, but um, you know, if you know that you want to talk about, uh, uh, we'll say, uh, ag education, you want to talk about uh, studying ag education here at the University of Minnesota, you probably want to interview uh, Dr. Griman and Dr. Smith uh, or any of the other adjunct professors um, or anyone that, that you might know. You could list those types of people, the people that you have access to, the people that you want to get, and the people that you are backups uh, in case you aren't able to gain access. So um, those are the on-air uh, uh, talent or crew members. Um, anyone that's helping you produce this thing. You know, if, uh, say, uh, Paige is going to be working with Krista uh, and vice versa or you've got uh, two or three other people involved list those people so I kind of know oh the scope of this seems really large but I know you've got help so uh, that's one of the things I want to also identify maybe some struggles or pitfalls to avoid those types of things if it's a really large project and I'm like oh, two or three minutes remember that's what this uh, vid or this uh, this final video project is all about so again, then what the title of the, the video or the, the film is, and this is a working title, it can obviously change, but sometimes you need to come up with that in your development so you have a basis or a theme. So it could just be called Potato, the movie, uh, if it's about potatoes. But, you know, come up with, uh, you know, uh, Super Spud. I don't know, it's a terrible, terrible name. Don't use that. Not that anyone's doing potato uh, documentaries. So anyhow, but you get the idea. Um, topics in relationship to agriculture. How, because I know we've got uh, some uh, ag economists in this particular uh, group, and uh, you can talk about, it doesn't have to be production farming or agriculture, it can be uh, something that's related, but I want you to clarify what that connection to the agricultural industry is. Um, log lines. You all remember what a log line is, is that one sentence that summarizes the entire uh, film. So uh, write your best log line you can for this particular assignment. Uh, synopsis, a brief description, eight to twelve sentences of the project. What's the project about? What's the purpose? Who are the characters of the people uh, that we might be learning about? Uh, why is this a unique project? So it's expanding on that log line and telling us a little bit more about the project. Uh, define what the beginning, middle, and end would be, kind of like a pitch. You can be talking, uh, well this is a pitch, but I mean like a verbal pitch if you were standing up in front of people uh, talking about, hey, so this is the, what the theme is and here's what we're going to be talking about and this in Act 1 we're going to talk about why this is uh, really important, how it's going to relate. In, in Act 2 we're going to be visiting these farms, we're going to talk with these people and uh, we're going to um, uh, show some uh, demonstrations or whatever it is that you're, you're wanting to explore in Act 2, and then Act 3 is tying it all together and summarizing. So again, uh, depending upon what type of uh, information you're trying to convey, a clear beginning, middle, end for the three-act three structure within uh, your film. Uh, define those in what's going to happen in each act. The projected timeline is really just for yourself and for myself to see if it's realistic for you to accomplish this. It also helps you put this down in writing, okay, and I'm going to get my B-roll shot on this day, I'm going to shoot my main interviews on this day, I'm going to be editing all throughout this week. So I know that you've got this all planned out, and if you don't have it planned out, I don't want it to come crashing down and then there's not going to be an extension on this. Just get it done. You're, you're going to be able to do this. I have faith in every one of you getting this thing done. So, um, Also pad yourself for some reshooting. Um, 
you know, on the end of it while you're editing, you'll be like, gosh, I need some more B-roll. Make sure you, you leave yourself some space to be able to do that. Some reshooting is always good. Some people turn in a calendar, um, whatever, you know, you could just bullet point it and say, this week I'm planning on this, this week I'm doing this, this week I'm doing this. Some people work from a planner, you know, they just export a calendar saying, here are my shoot days, here's my editing days, and this is what I'm planning on getting accomplished. Um, and then also your initial storyboards. Now this uh, needs a little bit more clarification. So these are not final storyboards. And in, within documentary, it's kind of hard to, do, uh, to storyboard your entire uh, process unless it's already happened and then you already kind of know, uh, you know, you're going into a historical type of uh, retrospective. So you, you, you already know the outcomes. A lot of times in documentaries, uh, we're, we're working along and following a character as they're working through a process, so we don't know how things are gonna end. But uh, what I want you to do is what your initial storyboard process might look like, an opening shot, an establishing shot, and we're moving into the different interviews or the interview itself and the B-roll and how you might be using that. It's gonna inform you um, how much you need to shoot, what you need to shoot to tell the story that you wanna tell. Now these don't need to be finished, they don't need to be you know, uh, an entire book of storyboards, but it needs to best represent what you want to accomplish so you can show, hey, this is the film, this is my beginning, middle, and end, here's my log line, this is kind of what it's gonna look like, um, and then you have a solid pitch put together. So the idea is if you do this template, you can actually come into a room and give me a verbal pitch and be a little bit more prepared than you may have been the first time you, you were doing your group pitches. So think about that pr pitch process and then now just dump that out onto uh, this template that I'm providing. So uh, if you've got any questions, feel free.